as an elite technology alliance partner with VMware, Nexenta has been able to work hand in hand through the release of vSphere 6. Whether that's working with our Nexenta store product or Nexenta Connect for vSAN, where we take advantage and leverage all the new features of this brand new vSAN 6 launch. The feature set that you get out of vSAN 6 allows for a lot of new components that really help with the file service capabilities of Nexenta Connect. Whether you're looking at the all flash capability or DR capability, or probably even more importantly, the scale out that you can get with a 64 node cluster. You can now have not only your virtual machines, but also NFS and SMB capability on top of that vSAN to provide you with all sorts of different use cases. Whether you're deploying an Evo rail or a vSAN ready node, you could use that for things like branch offices or VDI deployments. If you're looking at a VDI deployment, Nexenta Connect combined with vSAN gives you the capability for a full software-defined hyperconverged model. You can put your user profile and personas on that SMB share provided by Nexenta Connect and keep those virtual desktops on the scale-out, highly resilient capabilities of vSAN that all then flow with the storage profiles of VMware. When you deploy this software-defined model, you can now take advantage of industry standard hardware. Some of the vSAN ready nodes allow us to keep the price point down, give you a lower total cost of ownership with giving you even a higher return on your investment. When you combine things in like Nexenta Connect for vSAN, you now also don't have to add an additional array purchase and additional storage on top of the already hyper-converged full model that you're looking at for your software-defined data center. The future of that software-defined data center is really happening right now. With the release of vSphere 6 and vSAN 6, and the combination of those platforms with ecosystem partners like Nexenta, you can combine Nexenta Connect, vSAN, or an Evo Rail, and have that software-defined data center today. So everything that we've been waiting for, for software-defined data center to become the future, is really happening right now.